Hi guys, it's Gina again. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm doing um, a polymer clay realistic rose for my pot that I'm in the middle of doing. Uh, this is still a tiny bit tacky. I'm going to let it dry overnight. And hopefully you guys will see me in the morning. Or at night. Okay, so what I have here is... After we did all the flowers, I have them all in order on where I peeled, peeled them off from the rose. So these are the bigger um, ones, and then it goes down from there, the down to the smaller ones. And I took, you know, artistic license with some of them. Not, they don't, they're not perfect. And you can even, if you look on there, you can see my fingerprints. You can see my palm print even. Some polymer clay artists do not like that. For this project, it's a, a rose. So, and it has vines. It has these little tiny vines all throughout. So, to me, that's more realistic to do it like that. And it's fine. What I like to do at this stage, I like to... Um, dust a little bit of color just on the edges actually come to think about it I think I'm gonna maybe even do all of it I'm using um, some mica powders and this is called rose all I'm doing is dusting it on I'm not using a whole lot Oh, that was too much, but that's okay. And if you do one side, you must do the outside, the other side. It's just... I think it'll look silly if you don't do both sides. All you do is twist it on there. Yes, of course your, your um, petal might it disrupted on, on how you shaped it that's fine that's not a problem you can always reshape it okay some spots won't get covered by the mica powders that's okay I like how it's white right there and white on the edges a little bit that's fine okay so this is my first petal and I got mica all over <laughs> But um, I'm going to continue doing this and I will pause the video so you guys won't have to watch me do like 50 petals. Just real nice and soft on there. I'll pause the video and do the rest and then come right back. Okay, thanks. Okay, as you can see, I've... Um, Put mica powder on each and every rose petal. I wasn't too careful. You know, I wasn't putting it all pink like right here. Some of it, the white showing just makes it a little bit more realistic. Okay, with roses, the, the very inside, like the inside petal, is the smallest petal that you have so what it's tightly wound up and all you gotta do is just put your finger actually you know what you could do it with a paintbrush just go right around like that okay and then I'm gonna reinforce what I did before just go bend it back and then I'm gonna grab the bottom okay you don't have to worry about the bottom of the petals okay so that's the very first one that's the inside one okay the second one I usually put it on the side the side like this And these are open right now, but these, the smaller ones close like this. 
So I'm just going to place this one right in the middle of this. And I'm going to envelope it together. Okay? And I'm still pinching on the bottom. Okay, then I turn it and get another smaller piece. I wonder if you could see. Envelope it together. You see what I'm doing? And squeeze it shut. All I'm doing is reshaping, messing around. <laughs> okay, you see how you have one and two? You put the one over here, the petal over here. Right smack a dab in the middle. And you em envelope it around. And then I turn it to this side. Another small one. And if you find that it's too small, you know, just place it right on top. Like this. That's all you typically do. Sometimes roses will go from that side and that side, you know, and then sometimes it'll just go overlap. Just like I'm going to do this one. Goes around. Then you go like a quarter of the way in. And then you press down. Don't worry about what this looks like right now. It's fine. Another piece, three quarters of the way in and over. And I think that's kind of small, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab another piece, place it right, right behind it. It still looks fine. Then I'm going to go over here, get the other smaller pieces. I can't wait for this weekend. It's um, we have really great parades going on. We have the Irish Italian parade this weekend, and it's great because oh, my middle's like coming up. <laughs> Go back down. Um, it's great because they throw a whole bunch of produce, cabbages and <laughs> carrots, potatoes, all kinds of produce. It's so much fun though. My children love it. I caught another cabbage, mama. <laughs> it's great. What are you guys doing for Oops, I was trying to get a bristle off. That's okay. I like the little white on there. That's fine. This is all basically you do. Just go one behind there, tuck it all in. Go, go on. I can't remember what was...
See, they're all irregular. Which is absolutely fine. And if you want it a little bit closed, just slowly close it a little bit. And all I'm doing is pressing down here so it can stay together. Be nice and loose up here. And stay together. And that's a little bit too much, Gina. Yeah, it's it's a give and take, you know. You you feel what you need to um tweak. And you go on from there. Like I think I need more petals over here, so I'm gonna put this right there. We'll go in with the bigger ones. So this one's next. I like to have them tuck under. And then remember, some of these leaves at the very end, they just flop over. And sometimes they're even, you know, ripped. So put that in your rows. Absolutely fine. See, I don't like what I did here, but that's okay. Because you can always learn from your mistakes. I'm always learning. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place it like this. Just get the best angle. And you can't go wrong with the petals. Well, you can if you squish them all together, but... <laughs> You really can't go wrong on the shapes. Okay, I like what it's doing here. So I'm going to encourage you. Remember, this is polymer clay. You can always redo it. You can always, re, you know, just shape it. Shape it to where you like it. And I kind of like how this is just hanging there. I like that. Very realistic. Okay, so what I'm going to do is softly pinch around the edge over here. I think that's a little bit too thick right there, so I'm going to pinch it, make it a little bit better. I'm just twist it. I like how fluid it is right now. And what you can do with all the excess polymer clay down here you can make um, the stem. And of course the stem is not pink 
You could always go back and paint it over, which is the beauty of polymer clay. You could put mica on it, you could put paints on it, put oil, you could put acrylic, everything you could put on. But I would highly recommend if you bake it first. <laughs> okay, this is my rose so far. And I did it extremely quick for me, but that's okay. You know, this is a tutorial. I'm just trying to show you the steps and what I do and how I learned. And I hope this taught you something and I hope, I hope you like it. When you're baking it, I would highly suggest, um, like put in the oven, always follow your directions on the package, of course. Sculpt T3, I put it in for 220 and for about roughly 15 minutes. But if it's something big like this, probably 20 minutes, 30 minutes, I like to watch it and I'll probably do it at lower temperature with something big like this because I don't want it to burn. I just spent all this time making it. But, I mean, get like foil or something. And I would highly recommend you putting foil underneath um, stuff that you want to keep up. So just put it on something, put it in the oven, make sure all the petals are are nice and properly supported because if you don't in the oven it tends to um, to droop and your whole piece can be completely ruined if you don't put anything underneath it to protect it so I hope you like it I will show you more um, techniques in polymer clay if you guys want me to, of course. Um, in the future, what I've shown my son, and we just have a lot of fun with polymer clay. We make almost anything. You know, with even this this one, we'll make a tiny rose out of it. <laughs> and you don't have to do exactly what I did. You, it's. I'll show you. I know this is a realistic um, video, but with roses, you usually, let me do this quick. I'll put it in a big, in a log, divide it up into two. I only do it in two because, and then I'll divide it Again, get these small little balls. Grab the first ball, roll it around, smash it down with your thumb, exactly how we did that one. And you get something like this. Okay, that's the inside. The inside part of the rose. And this is super quick. I, I like doing these. Just follow it around. Just like that. To save time, I'm just going to do it with my finger. Let's overlap the back. Come around. Overlap the back and then come around. I'm doing the same exact thing, see, underneath as I did with the big one.
Okay, now I got two over here. I want to make one here and one here. Or I could just go like that. For time's sake, I'm shaping on here. <laughs> And then cute little bud. You could even use something like this to separate them. Cut it off with the base. And you can put this on a pendant or for earrings. Or I could put it with this one. Okay. <laughs> I hope you liked my video. I like making roses. I like making flowers with polymer clay. My children like to make dinosaurs and stuff like that. <laughs> it's kind of neat. I like it. I think it looks real. I hope you guys do too. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, the whole nine yards. It's free for you and it's beneficial for me. So I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time.